In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut holes into your mesh while subdivision modeling. I'm going to go over both planar and curved surfaces. So let's start off with a planar surface. So I'm going to start by creating a plane. Then I'm going to create an eight sided cylinder and I'm going to scale that in. And this is going to be the size of our hole approximately. So I'm going to select our plane here and I'm going to apply a Boolean operation. I'm going to select the cylinder as our target mesh and I'm going to hit apply. Then I'm going to delete that cylinder and switch to top view. Now I'm going to select the mesh and I'm going to jump into edit mode. Then what I'm going to do is use the knife tool to basically connect these vertices to the edge of the plane here. And I'm going to hit C to constrain that. So on every side, I'm just going to cut in three loops like so repeating it on the other side as well. And I'm just going to go all across our mesh and repeat this process. Once that's done, I'm just going to accept that. And I'm going to select the edges that were created as a result of that Boolean operation. And I'm going to dissolve them. Then I'm just going to jump into vertex mode and I'm going to merge the rest of them together like so. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and select all our faces. So just going to switch to face mode here like so. And then I'm going to inset our face in order to give us a control loop there. Then I'm going to select the edges on the inside there and I'm going to extrude that on the Z axis. So once I do that, I can now go ahead and add a subdiv modifier to this. So I'm just going to hop back into layout mode and I'm going to give it a subdiv modifier. Now I'm just going to hit shade smooth and I'm going to give it a, another subdivision level. And as you can see, we've now cut a hole into a planar surface. So now I'm going to hop into our shading tab and I'm going to assign a high contrast material to review this mesh. So as you can see, our mesh shades properly and also has all quad topology. So now we're going to move on to curved surfaces. So I'm just going to push this mesh off to the side here and I'm going to create a cylinder with 16 sides and I'm going to rotate this on the X axis at about 90 degrees. Then I'm going to create another cylinder and this one's going to be eight sided and I'm going to scale that down and I'm going to move that to the top. Then I'm going to jump into our top view and I'm going to jump into wireframe mode and I'm going to align these like so till these edges collide with each other. Then I'm going to select our main mesh, jump into the layout, I mean the edit mode, and then I'm going to cut in some loops like so. And I'm going to place them roughly where these coincide. And once that's done, I'm going to add two mode to the top like so, and then jump into solid mode. Then I'm going to select the main mesh and apply a Boolean modifier and select our secondary mesh here as the target and hit apply and then I can delete that. Then I'm just going to select this mesh again and I'm going to delete these faces in here because we don't need them at the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that and I'm also going to make sure that I select the faces at the top and bottom and I'm going to delete those as well because I don't need that. And now I'm just going to jump into wireframe mode and I'm just going to select all the faces here and I'm going to actually before I do that I need to resolve some of those vertices there as a result of that boolean operation. So as you can see we have multiple vertices that have clustered at that point there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select them and I'm going to merge them at center. So I'm just going to repeat that process like so till I've got all those vertices. So I was on face mode there for a minute. So I'm just going to go back in and select those vertices and merge them. So once that's done, I can now select all the faces and I can inset this 
to create a control loop. I'm going to jump back into solid mode and now I'm going to select the edge on the inside here and I'm going to extrude this on the Z axis like so and I'm going to also add a control loop right here and now I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier to this and I'm also going to shade smooth and that's how you cut a hole into a curved surface so I'm just going to head on over to the shading tab and I'm going to assign the same high contrast material to preview this mesh and it shades properly and it looks good so I'm going to go over one more case so I'm just going to move this mesh off to the side again and I've already prepped this so I've got a quad ball here and I'm going to cut a hole into this so I'm just going to select the quad ball here and I'm going to apply a boolean operation and I'm going to select the target mesh I'm going to hit apply then I'm going to delete this and I'm going to go ahead and select this and delete the faces on the inside. Once that's done, I'm just going to go ahead, jump into wireframe mode, pretty much doing the exact same thing that I did with the cylinder. And I'm going to inset that so that we have a control loop there. But I run into a problem because I forgot to resolve those vertices there. So I'm just going to jump back into solid mode. And I'm just going to select those there. I'm just going to go into wireframe so that I'm able to select those vertices properly. And I'm going to merge them at center, like so. So I'm just going to go all across, select those, and merge them. So once that's done, I can go ahead and select all the faces, like so. And I'm going to inset this. And this is going to be our control loop. Switching back to the solid mode. And I'm going to jump into edge mode here. And select all our edges. And I'm going to extrude this along the y-axis like so. And I'm going to add a control loop on the inside as well. Now I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier to this. And hit shade smooth. And that's how you cut a hole into a quad ball as well. So I just wanted to go over one more case and I'm gonna assign the same material and preview this. So as you can see, we have all our meshes here. I'm just going to enable wireframe here so that we can see this. And all our meshes here have quad based topology and they all shade well. So I'm just going to turn that wireframe off there so you can see how these look. And I'm going to just hop in a little closer. And you can see that all these meshes shade properly and they have prop topology as well. And this is just one of a myriad of ways of going about cutting holes into your mesh. And so I hope this was informative and thanks for watching.